And a Synergy proudly brings you your Rise Up Stronger. The road to NCAA Season 96. Magandang hapon, Pilipinas! I'm Martin Avier. And I'm Sofia Sinuron. This is GTV. And you're tuned into Rise Up Stronger, the road to NCAA Season 96. featuring one of the top schools not just in the Philippines but also in Asia, Mapua University. That's right, Mapua is known for being innovative. That's why we are doing something different today. We are bringing you the top 10 Mapua sports moments. We will be listing down the many firsts of Mapua in their long and legendary sports history. From NCAA to SEA Games to the Olympics, lahat yan merong taga Mapua na nauna at mga nanguna. At para sa countdown, sasamahan pa tayo ng import. <laughs> he's one of the newest Kapuso stars to break into the scene and syempre he's a proud Mapuan. Please welcome Gab Yabu! Thank you, Martin and Sofia. Mga Kapuso, let's begin the countdown. The first on our list of the top 10 Mapua sports moments happened in 2004 at ang mga bida, ang Mapua Chirping Cardinals. They were the first ever winner of the first ever NCAA cheerleading competition. At mula noon, they continue to make Mapua proud. 2004, nang unang magkaroon ng NCAA cheerleading competition. At ang unang champion, walang iba kundi ang Mapua Chirping Cardinals. The goal of Mapua Chirping Cardinals in every competition is to perform and mabuo po namin yung routine. Hit zero deductions and zero injuries. Yung tipong papasok at lalabas po kami sa playing area without regrets. Yung masaya po and proud po sa mga sarili po namin. At kung school spirit ang pag-uusapan, handang-handa silang ibahagi yan. Hi! We are your Mapua Chirping Cardinals. I am Jason Tangan. I am Miguel Katap. And I am Gina Fiat. And we will be teaching you how to cheer the Cardinals spelling. C-A-R-D-I-N-A-L-S Cardinals! Cardinals! Sis-Bumba! Get ready! Eto na sila! Things forward at number 9. The year was 1960. Ito ang taon kung saan unang pinakalala ang General Championship Award sa NCAA. At anong school ang unang nanalo? Siyempre, Mapua. 1960 was when NCAA first introduced the General Championship Award. Today, Decades have passed, but no other school has surpassed the 29 general championship awards given to Mapua University. Good day to the Mapua University community, the NCAA community, and to the viewers of GMA. Five years after it was established in 1925, the Mapua Institute of Technology, as the school was called then, joined the NCAA. Just like some campuses in the Philippines then and many in the United States, sports became a part of collegiate life in Mapua. And re it remains so to this day. Just as it has in its academic life, Mapua wrapped up achievement after achievement over the years. The school and its athletes and coaches won numerous awards. Mapua has produced alumni players who have won the MVP award in the PBA, Freddy Hubalde, Atoy Ko, and Alvin Patrimonio. 
In track and field, Mapua has produced athletes who became part of the Philippine national team and won medals for the country in various international leagues such as the SEA Games, Los Angeles Olympics, and the Berlin Olympics. The list includes Raymond Alferos, Henry Dagmil, Simeon Toribio, and Miguel White. Mapua's chess team has produced the likes of Eugene Torre, Asia's first grandmaster, as well as international master Renato Naranja, both of whom represented the country in the 1972 Chess Olympiad, and international master Ildefonso Datu. We are beyond proud of our famous alumni in sports, but let it be said that it takes a whole team, a whole sports community, and in fact, a whole school with all its traditions and systems to produce such great athletes and competitors. Solid teams and enthusiastic, supportive students, alumni, faculty, and administrators provide the environment for anyone and everyone to excel and shine in sports as in all other aspects of university life. So for this NCAA season, as in seasons past and seasons yet to come, I would like to enjoin the entire Mapua community to join the NCAA community in participating vigorously and making a success of the games this season. Thank you so much. Now, Gav, from what we've seen and basing it from what you're wearing right now, <laughs> You must be very proud of your alma mater. Yeah, sobra. You know, I'm actually very excited to represent Mapua uh, in GMA. So, yeah, I'm thankful for this experience, yeah. So, ikaw ba, what's your sport? Do you have oh, a sport? Oh, I play football. Football? Yeah. Like soccer? Soccer, or soccer. Ikaw, Gab, since naglalaro ka ng football, do you play competitive? Uh, before, mm -hmm. before going to the Philippines, I played competitive. We went to Dubai one, uh, one year, mm -hmm. for one year, and we played there. So are you planning on, you know, continuing it here? Uh, for now, I don't think I'm going to pursue my football career. I say I want to focus on my acting career in the mm -hmm. showbiz industry, so yeah. Oh. So, who's your favorite idol, your football idol? It has to be Mesut Ozil. He's a legend in the football industry, so he's my, he's my idol, yeah. There you have it, guys. Gab Yabut, but we'll still be seeing more of him as the countdown continues. Thank you so much, Gab. Kaya walang lilipat, magbabalik po ang Rise Up Stronger, the road to NCAA Season 96. Before we continue our countdown of the top 10 Mapua sports moments, pasyal muna tayo across the globe to meet up with one of the hottest basketball players that Mapua and the NCAA has produced. Here's our very own Martin Javier in a super exclusive interview with former Mapua Cardinal and NCAA Basketball MVP, Kelvin De La Pena. Hey guys, once again, thank you so much for joining us. But today, we are joined by a certified NCAA legend. Siya lang naman po ay isang former NCAA Rookie of the Year, former NCAA MVP, and of course, he is also known as the former King Cardinal. Let's all welcome on the show, Mr. Kelvin De La Peña. What's up, guys? What's good, man? Okay, where are you now? First of all. I'm here in Canada. Kels, I understand that you, you first um, started playing basketball when you were back here in the Philippines mm -hmm. because you were raised here. So, yeah, I, I, I grew up in the Philippines. Si, yung dad, ko, he played PBA for a uh, number of years. Tapos, uh, I moved back to the Philippines. I, I believe I was 20, 19 years old. Uh, I just turned 20, like a couple of months, like weeks after. And I, really, I was 19. And then, yeah, and that's how it was born, Philippines. But I went to Mapua, and I went to Mapua, and see, see Dad. He said, "Well, off day natin ngayon. Let's let's go visit yung old school ko, yung yung dati kong." Stomping grounds. Uh, let's just go visit my friends. Just practice with them. And then the first day of practice, I think they bought me a pair of shoes. Okay. Everybody was my brothers. And to this day, it was natural for me to be to be in a group that's welcoming. 
speaking of these, you know, challenges, the hardships that you had to go through. Yeah. Um, feeling mo ba naging worth it yung mga Sacrifices. yung pag-transfer mo? For me, I left, iniwan ko yung family ko. I left my parents, I left my friends. Um, I left Canada, basically. Yung buhay ko dito sa Canada where, like uh, what you said, it was somewhat um, already set naman. So, there was no choice. I had to get Rookie of the Year. I wanted to get Rookie of the Year. I wanted to get all the accolades, mga uh-huh. mga awards. Because I, I, you know, I give up a lot. So when I won the Rookie of the Year, it absolutely felt good. And you were on your way to becoming an NCAA MVP as well, which you got in uh, NCAA season 93, and you were the top dog in Mapua already. Mm-hmm. Now, what was the feeling like nung, nung, nung nasa taas ka na yun? For me, when I won the MVP, it was like, it was like so surreal na, it's not, it's not just, it's, yeah, it's not just like basketball. It was like everything in life for me was working. You know, you started experiencing back spasms, but you chose to play through it. Yeah. Uh, para, para kasi kailangan ka ng team mo. Mm-hmm. Paano, pa, paano mo ginawa yan? During practice, I, pag ikot ko, nag-seize na ako, hindi, I couldn't move my body anymore. So that's when it all started, man. That's what happened. I think yung year na yon, I, I really hit rock bottom. I really, really did. I hit rock bottom. Um, I was humbled. It was, I questioned my faith. I questioned everything. You know, I was suicidal. I was depressed. Um, and you're one of the guys. And then all of a sudden, overnight, it was like, boom. It was like, yeah. I remember going to rehab. Like, I was doing my exercises. I was because it just, it was so painful. It was so painful, painful internally because I know eh, talagang I struggled to accept na I will no longer be who I was. Tapos in in uh, in a physical sense, talagang masakit eh. It was like I wouldn't I wouldn't wish anybody to go through that injury, right? Like go hindi ko feel. It just changed a lot, right? So 2013. Um, I went home to Canada to really rehab. I had a serious conversation with my family um, and my girlfriend uh, at that time. So, yeah, it just was like, well, what do you want to do? So, um, I coach, I coach ako ng college dito um, for women's and men's. Bakit mo naisip na simulan yung Rise Up Coach? Marami mga bata na lumalapit sa akin, Coach, you know, questioning me, how did you do it? And it just kind of evolved from there. And when I started training one or two, um, yung co-founder ko, uh, Alejandra, Alejandra Gutierrez, she pushed me to to train these kids and to really inspire them. Now, we, over, we almost have four, at least five, over 500 kids. I want to make sure yung mga bata ko sa program ko and I want them to experience the whole Philippine basketball. Kasi ibang klase talaga Philippine basketball. I took a group of kids, I believe nine or eight sila. You know, I told them, when you guys are ready, um, maybe maybe we can go to the Philippines, may experience yung Pilipinas. And we did that, we did that 2019. And the most fulfilling is for me is, I truly don't do this for the money. Right, I do it for the love of it, man. When I see a kid, and if this sounds, you know, corny, maybe corny to some people, mm. the most fulfilling for me is when I go home at night, I can go to sleep at night knowing that I had a good practice. Always, always, always do it for the right reasons. Um, always do it with full heart and full love. Give it your best. My journey was taken away just like that. If you give your best and if you go hard, um, wala kang regrets, no regrets, no regrets. You never know you might reach the top and you never know um, you might be one day, hopefully one of the legends to come out of NCAA. Making history at number eight. 
Simeon Toribio was the first Mapuan to win an Olympic medal at the 1932 Los Angeles Olympics. At no naging Philippine flag bearer si Toribio sa controversial 1936 Berlin Olympics, kasama niya ay isa pang Mapuan si Miguel White. Ang Filipino-American athletic champion ay hindi lang buong puso ipinaglaban ng ating bansa bilang atleta. He also gave his life for our country. Let's all salute Miguel White. Itinatag ang Mapua University noong 1925 ni Don Tomas Mapua. At isa sa mga naging produkto noong unang dekada ng premyadong universidad ay ang Olympic medalist na si Miguel White. I'm uh, Gladys Ahero. Uh, I am the granddaughter of Miguel White and this is my mom. I'm Thelma. I'm Dr. Thelma White Ahero, a retired physician. I, and uh, Miguel White was my father. Lola would tell us stories. They met in high school and they were both athletes in high school. Uh, yeah, my grandma was uh, a softball athlete, I think, and I think Lola was in the track. So he was running hurdles. Hard. But after my mother graduated from uh, from her uh, high school normal education, she had to start teaching. For a while, they both lost contact. Later, after so many years, they reconnected again because my father found my mother. They got married. No, 2010. Inimbitahan si Natelma at Gladys ng Philippine Sports Commission. My father was then being uh, inducted to the Philippine Sports Hall of Fame. So they wanted us to be there. Surreal experience, yes. to say the least. All I know was my mother told me that uh, my father was an Olympian that uh, during the 1936 uh, Olympics, he, he got a bronze medal. That's all I know. I did not know that it was that big. And I felt, I felt proud of it. Maintriga ang 1936 Olympics sa Berlin, Germany. Pero kahit may diskriminasyon sa mga atletang hindi puti, lumaban sa track and field at nagwagi ng Olympic bronze medal sa 400 meter hurdles si Miguel White. Sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Pilipinas, Ang Phil American na lumaki sa Legazpi Albay ay bumuo ng pamilya at patuloy na nagsilbi sa bayan bilang Philippine Scout. Binawian ng buhay si Miguel White habang bahagi ng 51st Division na lumaban sa mga Hapon noong World War II. An American, you know, who stayed in the Philippines, he came looking for me. He asked me, are you Miguel White's daughter? So I said, yes, he is my father. Mr. Betts, he said, do you know that your father is a hero? Well, he died a hero because he, we, they were in the same troop. And then they were already surrounded by the Japanese. And then my father sacrificed himself and told them to retreat. So they all retreated. He alone was left with a machine gun to hold off the Japanese uh, soldiers. And that is how he died. Sa kanyang mga huling sandali, Ang anak ng Mapua at Philippine Olympian ay naging isang bayani. On with the countdown and acing the number 7 spot is the Mapuan Lawn Tennis Team. Nanalo ang Mapuan ng first NCAA championship nito sa lawn tennis noong 1932, only five years after the sport was introduced to the NCAA. Since then, Mapua has won a total of 35 championships in tennis. More trivia when we return. Here is former Mapua Cardinals volleyball player, a charmer on the court, Angel Pertiera, to continue the countdown of Mapua's top 10 sports moments. Thank you, Martin and Sofia. Hot hitters naman ang nasa number 6 spot. With 11 championships under their belt, shout out to Mapua volleyball team. In the first ever 1964 NCAA volleyball tournament, nalo ang Mapua men's team sa finals. Pero hindi dyan nagtatapos ang kwento. They went on to win a 7 peat until 1971. Ang lupet. That is a very interesting trivia galing po kay Anjo. Pero Anjo, dyan ka lang ha. Dyan ka lang. Tatawagin ko na. 
ang teammate mo mula siyempre sa Mapua Cardinals Volleyball Team. Nandito rin si Mark Egan kasama si Gab dahil maglalaro tayo ngayon ng Mapua Charades Game! Ready? Yes. Ready. ready. So, ready. Angela first. You are teammates with Sofia. Kaya po kayo nakagrupo dyan. So, it's Anjo and Sofia. Mark naman, ang teammate mo, si Gab. Good luck to our team. Simple lang po yung mechanics natin. Mark and Angelo will act out the answer. Sila po yung arte sa ating charade. Sina Sofia at Gab naman, yung manguhula. The team that gives the correct answer first wins a point. Here's the deal. Every time na mali ang sagot nyo, meron kayong consequence. Okay, ganito yan. Pag nagkamari din yung nag-steal, parehas po silang gagawa ng consequence natin. So, ang saya-saya, di ba? Yeah, best of three po ito. So, good luck, guys. Simulan na natin ang ating Mapua Charades. Starting with Gab and Mark. Alright, are you guys ready? Yes. Ready. Let's go. So, <laughs> trivia number one. Ang cardinal bird na simbolo ng Mapua ay kilala bilang songbirds. Pero mas madalas kumanta ang babae para ipaalam sa lalaki na siya ay blank. Mark, tatakita ko muna sa iyo yung word. Ito mo pa kayo ta. Ready, Mark? Kayang kaya. Kayang kaya, kayang kaya. Uh, Mark, in three, two, one, 15 seconds, act it out. T. Word, first word. T. The first word. First word, first word. At Tagalog. Ah, okay. Tagalog, God. Ole, ole. One, two, three, four. Okay, four syllables. Masakit. Chan. Time's up! Oh, oh, hindi na lang ang ulan. At saka ang hula ni, ni Gab ay masakit ang chan. So, Team Sofia and Anjo can steal. Nasaktan. Nagmi-meeting pa? Nasaktan. Five, four. Nasaktan. Wrong! <laughs> Correct answer po natin ay nagugutom dahil dyan parehong teams po natin. Ang may consequence, five four squats. Syllable. Simulan na natin ang squats, guys. Five position? Squats. One. Ayan, sige, position muna. One. Nag-uwi sa lahat. One, ayan. Two. Let's go. Three. <laughs> four. Five. Okay. Thank you so much oh, yes. to our teams. But unfortunately, wala po nakakuha ng correct answer doon sa ating trivia number one. Now we move on to trivia number two. And this is directed towards Anjo and Sophia. Anjo, here is trivia number two. My total na 29 NCAA General Championships ang Mapua. 21 sa mga ito ay para sa anong division? Okay. Okay. Puha na agad ni Anjo. Anjo, 15 seconds starts now. First word, English syllable. Um, um, slow, walking, crawling, um, um, cracking. And time is up! Baka, baka alam to. Baka alam to nung kabilang team natin. Mark and Gab, what is your guess? You guys can steal. Oh, yes, yes. Senior, guess, guess, Gab, guess. Senior citizen. Oh, pwede na ba yan? Oh, the division, oh, 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 and the, I, oh, a senior sige, division? Kailangan natin... Oh, isagot ang hinampalan. Hindi, ang tamang sagot po ay seniors lang. Ah, seniors. seniors. Kasi pag senior citizen, ibang, <laughs> ibang division na po yun. <laughs> Dahil dyan, five jumping jacks naman po. Tulog ka po. Guys, jumping jacks to. Kaya kaya natin to. In heels pa si Sofia. So, are we ready? Sige. Start. One, two, three. Four, five! Okay, thank you guys for being such good sports. Let's move on to uh, trivia number three. And this goes directed or directly to Gab and Mark again. Nung na-interview ko si Kelvin De La Peña, ang sabi niya, may isang tatak mapuha niya. Ito yung sentence natin. 
alam mong taga magkuha ka kung if if you walk around kung <laughs> so guys uh, fill in the blank three two one go 15 seconds ko no english english, oh, english. english. four mm -mm. So, hindi nakakuha si Gabad mas mahirap to, ah. Sophia and <laughs> Anjo. Pero uh, anong isasagot nyo for the steel calculator? Hey! Tama ba? Calculator. Yeah, calculator! Woo! Yes, sir! Wow! Galing! Galing! Gusto ko yung naiisip niya, tapos yun yung nilakasan niya na i-voice out. Good job, Anjo. At dahil dyan, ang magko-consequence po sa... Yes, thank you for that, Anjo. One point na, by the way, para kay Sophia at Anjo, pero ang consequence para kay Gab at Mark. Yes. Position so tayo. Sabay-sabay ba? Sige, Order. sabay kayo. Uh, One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five. Ay, Ay dinagdagan pa, ginawa pa. pang anim. <laughs> Ganyan talaga ka-overachieving po ang mga taga mapu. Anim pa yung ginawa nila. So, thank you so much. Gabat Mark for that. Next trivia po natin. Nakuha ang pangalang Mapua Cardinal dahil si Don Tomas Mapua ay fan ng St. Louis Cardinals sa Amerika. Anong sport ang nilalaro ng team na ito? Napita ko muna si Anjo for the answer na i-account niya. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. I got it. Madali lang to. Anjo, nakuha na niya. So in 3, 2, 1, go Anjo. Baseball? Oh! Yeah! Wow. Got it on the first try. The correct answer <laughs> is <laughs> baseball. Look at that flex. <laughs> well deserved. Second Bawit point. Dahil po dyan, kailangan ulit mag-consequence. Pasensya na po, nakatama sila doon. So, uulitin lang po natin yung consequence natin kanina na five push-ups. Feeling ko gusto nila to. Oh, Good na ako mag-workout. Uh, workout of the day. Uh, go, guys. Go. Sabi. One, two, three, go. Two, three, four, four five. five. Uy! <laughs> Sumusobra talaga. Wala. Humble lang. Uh, we got two trivias left uh, para po sa ating teams today. So, Gabbard Mart, nakasalalay po dito. May chance pa kayo. Sige. Next trivia. <laughs> sa Mapua Alma Mater song dapat kabisado nyo to may line na for our land we the makers of black <laughs> woo hirap nito don't tell me you don't actually activity to dati sa mga 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 um, two. Uh -oh. First word. Ay, fir first syllable. Hindi ko alam paano yak. Oo nga eh. Nagihirap <laughs> niyo. Challenging, challenging. <laughs> Pero first word is... Hirap, hirap. Ah, okay. Okay. Ah, stop! 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 I mean, yeah, medyo struggle talaga dahil mahirap po talaga itong word na to. Pero Anja and Sophia, they have a chance to steal and word. possibly Take the win with this one. Yeah, makers of. Sirat na kalutong kaya. Tige, hindi po nila na hulaan. The correct answer is blueprint. Blueprint. That's a hard word to guess. Ayan dahil po yan pareho po kayo. Yay! Ayan pareho po kayo magchallenge. So pasensya na po. Five push-ups ulit. Pwede niling sa yung Sofia. Niling. I'm strong. Okay. Agusto niya ano? Ayaw na matalo. Anjo, ayaw na matalo. Thank you, guys. Ayaw na matalo. Tama na. Grabe naman niyo lahat po ng consequences ginawa niyo. Pero two points na leading pa rin si Anjo at Sofia. We will declare them as the winner of our Mabuwa Charades. 
elbow. Congratulations, yan si Anjo at yeah, si Sophia. Good job, guys. Good Thank job. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, pero kay Gabat Mark naman okay lang yun, guys. Oh, oh. Next year. And as a thank you for making this such a fun game, we'd like to give you guys a GMA now. Ito ang digital TV yeah. mobile yes. receiver yeah. ng GMA. Okay, you can watch all of your favorite Kapuso shows anytime and anywhere on your Android phone. Congratulations! Thank you. Let's Congratulations go. and GMA thank now. you to our players today. We got Gab, we got Anjo, we got Mark. Salamat po. Sophia, ikaw naman ang magbigay ng trivia. What's next on our list? Yes, Martin, we're halfway through and kicking their way into fifth spot. The Mapua football team! Nakuha ng Mapua ang first football championship nito sa Juniors Division noong 1952. At noong 1955 naman para sa Seniors Division. So with a total of 19 wins, the football team continues to play for the fame and glory of their alma mater. And here are some of the Mapua football athletes sharing with us kung ano nga ba ang totoong tatak Mapua. Next is actually not just one sports moment, but a series of winning moments. Sprinting to the fourth spot. The Mapua Athletics team and one of its champions, Henry Dagmil. Mapua won its first championship in track and field in 1934. Panahon pa lang ng mga lolo at lola natin, panalo na sila. And since then, they have won 38. Yes, you heard it right. 38 NCAA golds. Kaya naman Mapua ang number one school pagdating sa athletics. At para may resibo tayo kung gaano ka talaga kagaling ang Mapua pagdating sa athletics, kasama na natin ang triple gold medalist at Southeast Asian Games record holder sa men's long jump all the way from South Cotabato. Nandito si Sir Henry Dagmil. Hello, sir. Hello. Magandang hapon po sa lahat ng uh, uh, tagapanood uh, taga ng uh, GMA at saka sa mga um, taga Mapua, uh, Biba Mapua po, at saka sa studio ng Demi. Maraming salamat sa pag-ibita. Maraming salamat sa pagsali sa amin dito, Sir Henry. Pero meron pa tayong isa pang makakasama. Ayan, kasama rin natin ang current athletics coach ng Mapua. Pero veterano rin siya ng palarong pambansa at SEA Games, both as a coach and as a player. Joining us all the way from Tarlac, we have Coach Sean Guevara. Coach, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Yes, sir. Uh, maraming salamat, sir. Uh, first of all, sa pag sa akin, sa program nyo. Um, especially sa uh, Mapua Cardinals uh, supporters sa NCA. Uh, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Uh, para dun sa mga nag-iisip, kasi alam ko, sabi kanina ni Sir Henry, ang daming fans po talaga ng athletic. Para dun sa mga gusto mag-start, Ano bang ideal age ng pagtitrain natin? Actually, uh, as early as 6 years old, uh, pwede na tayong mag-start ng uh, mga kids natin para sa tinatawag na movement awakening. Yung development ng uh, skill, yun yung tinatawag natin na ABC o athletics. Yung mga basics na skills yung inuuna natin. Tapos pag edad nila ng 10 years old, pwede na natin sila introduce ng, ano, ng multi-sports development. Tapos sa uh, pagdating ng mga 12 years old nila, pwede na natin sila i-introduce sa athletics ng lahat ng mga event doon. Pero yung specific event, didetermine lang natin yon, mabibigay lang natin sa kanila yon pagdating ng mga around 15 or 16 years old sila. Kasi ang athletics, napaka-broad siya na event. Uh, kung baga, nandun na yung all-in-one. Regardless of uh, ano mo, height mo, mak makikitaan ka namin ng galing kung saan ka pwede na event. Para naman po dito, speaking of training, ha, para kay Sir Henry dito, dami mong competition, sir, na nasalihan at napalanunan, lalong-lalo na nung estudyante ka ng Mapua. And you've represented your region, you've represented your country. Naglaro ka. Sige, sa isang ko na. Palarong pambansa, Southeast Asian Games. Sir, nakapag-Olympics ka pa. Ito yung mag magandang tanong dyan. Saan pinakamatindi yung kaba mo? Anong, sa anong event yon? Sea Games ba yan? Palarong pambansa, Olympics o ibang competition? Yung pinaka ano talaga, nakaka-nervyos ko na laro during my NCE kasi yun talagang very crucial yung laro sa college eh. Kasi yung mga college, yung, hindi mo kilala yung ibang mga kalaro eh. At saka iba, iba yung pinaglalaban pag uh, school 
Kasi yung NCAA kasi, marami kang event. Sabihin ng coach sa'yo, oh, kung parang matatalo tayo dito sa throw niya, wala tayong material ha. Kaya mo ba, Henry? Sige, coach, ilagay mo ko dyan. O, di, nilagay naman ako sa throwing. O, di, nakabutas din ako doon, naka-silver ako di, minsan naka-cold din. Ako, sir, ano yung nagulat ako kasi expected ko yung pagre-represent mo sa Pilipinas, yun yung pinakakinakabahan ka. Pero sa NCAA pala, kasi po ang dami niya talagang pinagkukumpitan. And speaking of, you know, competing, being an athlete here in the NCAA, uh, Sir Henry, narinig ko pwede mo kaming, tuturuan mo kami mag-stretch ngayon. Di ba? Mag- uh, pwede po. Uh, Ayan, sige. Uh, for lower, okay. Ayan, pero diba bago yan. Oh, bago yan, tatawagin ko muna yung dalawa nating kasama. Nandito si Gab and Sophia to stretch with us kasama si... Ayan. I don't think I can stretch that far. <laughs> okay. okay. Hello. Hello. Ang cute people, smile habang nag-stretch. Ayan. Nag-signal siya ng one. Hey! Wait, wait, wait. Wait, sabi natin, simple lang ah. Ba't bigla tayo nag dito? Coach. Okay, let's go. Thank you, Coach. Nice work. Coach, thank you so much. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Si Martin ng likod. Sinalim siya po yung mga muscles ko. Yan yung easy stretches, Coach. Easy ba yun? Uh, usually, that, sa ano lang, uh, functional uh, stretching yan sa during kag- kagaya sa inyo, na lockdown kayo, you can do that uh, with uh, hanggang 30 counts and 3 set. Pwede yung gawin yun. Pero huwag muna kayong mag-stretching kung wala kayong activity na ginawa kasi it's a... Uh, uh, stretching kasi ginagawa yan sa last part ng activity. So that's why kung may mga ginagawa kayo na uh, conditioning sa bahay, yung mga nag-gym kayo, after that, kumuha kayo ng stretching na kagaya niyan. Bro, thank you so much to our guests. Ma solid mo po ang Coach Sean Guevara and Triple C Games gold medalist Henry Dagmi. Salamat po sa inyo. Thank you for visiting thank us here. Thank you po. Maraming salamat. Thank you, salamat po sa oras nyo. And when we return, alamin kung sino ang celebrity basketball player na pasok sa ating top 10 Mapua sports moments. So stay with us only here in Rise Up Stronger, The Road to NCAA Season 96. Kanina, marami na tayong nakilalang athletes and coaches from the different sports programs ng Mapua. Pero marami pa sila at patindi ng patindi ang countdown ng top 10 Mapua sports moments. Here's more from Anja Pertiara. Rolling in like a wave to the third spot of our countdown, the Mapua Swimming Team. 1936 was the year that Mapua won its first NCAA Swimming Championship for swimming. From 1947 to 1993, walang nakatalo sa Mapua sa seniors division. Hindi lang yung 3 feet or 4 feet. 38 championships yon guys. Grabe. As of now, Mapua is NCAA number one in the swimming with 22 juniors and 40 senior championships. Now, that is what you'd call unbeatable. Ang galing nun! But, to be a champion swimmer, importante ang winning diet. Here to share his unbeatable shake recipe for swimmers is a water polo player who represented the Philippines at the 2016 ASEAN University Games in Singapore. And he's a member of the Mapua swimming team. Please welcome, Malakai Enero! Hi, Sophia. Hi, Hi. Mga Kapuso. Hello! Welcome to Bahai. Okay, Aba. lang yan. What are you gonna prepare for um, us today? Uh, gagawa po ng quadruple M shake. Quadruple yeah. M? Dahil ba sa pangalan mo um, yung quadruple uh, pwede M? Pwede rin. Quadruple M kasi masustansya sa mura, masarap, and bandaling gawin. Let's see kung mura ba ito. Um, yes. Yes, mura ito since saging lang. Saging um, lang. Milk, tapos peanut butter, tapos oats. Mm-hmm. Pwede, pwede tayo magdagdag ng whipped cream and chocolate. So, Nihilig ko po siya kasi uh, technically mas snatch sa lahat and uh, yung calories niya and is important para sa, especially sa ating mga, sa mga athletes. So, itong banana, pwede may carb siya and may potassium na binibigyan tayo energy. Uh, peanut butter, may carbs din siya 
and protein para sa para sa muscles and oats as fibers and yung milk as um, calories then actually. Are there different kinds of food na dapat kainin ng swimmer before or during or after training or a competition? So, ang ano, ang diet ng swimmer is med- maluwag kami sa diet actually. Actually, yeah. kumakain nga talaga kami na kumakain since especially pag competition na malalayan training. So, more calories dapat since sobra kami mag-burn ng calories. So, paano nga ba kayo nagta-training? Nagtataka ako. Ngayon, no swim talaga so no out, swim. out kami sa element namin or more on online training na guided naman na coach din pa rin namin mm-hmm. alam naman natin that the Mapua swimming team is like your shake unbeatable so what do you think makes you guys stand out from all the other teams in the NCAA siguro po yung yung nga po yung time management ng asa Mapua medyo mabigat po yung time namin especially kasi kailangan din namin mag-focus sa Mapuha kasi without Mapuha, wala din rin po kami makakalangoy. So, ayan. Thank you. Optional na naman yung so dalawa. Much. So, ito yun, yung quadruple M shake ni Malakai na full of many benefits and madaling gawin. So, thank you Malakai for sharing your thank recipe you. with us. And now, here's Gab with the top two Mapuha sports moments. We are down to the last two items on our list and soaring it at number two the first ever Filipino chess grandmaster, Eugene Torre. There are two international chess masters from Mapua, Renato Naranja and Ildefonso Datu. Pero isa lang ang grandmaster who received the honor in 1974 in Nice, France. Mula noon, kinalala na siya bilang king of Philippine chess. Pag sinabing Filipino chess player, ang unang pangalan na maririnig mo ay ang first grandmaster mula sa Pilipinas at Asia. Si Eugene Torre. Nakuha niya ang prestigious title noong 1974 sa Nice, France habang naglalaro sa 21st Chess Olympiad. And uh, I had a lot of uh, challenges and uh, may mga moments of desperation na hindi ko makuha-kuha. But eh, siyempre, uh, finally, nung nakuha ko yon and considering na uh, it was the first sa Asia. I was completely very happy and ex- exhilarated. And not only for myself, but uh, for the whole of uh, Asia, uh, and in particular, uh, our country, you know, the Philippines. Grand Maitre International de la FIDE. During the Congress, ito ang FIDE, 1974. Bukod sa world champion, Ang Grandmaster title ang pinakamataas na parangal na maaaring ibigay sa isang chess player. Pero meron pang ibang mahalagang milestone sa kanyang career as a chess champion. Very important sa akin yung uh, pag-qualify ko sa candidates. I tied for first with uh, Grandmaster Laios Fortis of Hungary. It was first in Asia, so very memorable sa akin yun. Memorable din yung mga, especially yung mga panalo ko sa mga world champions, uh, especially kay Anatoly Karpov, kasi at that time he was the world champion when uh, I beat him. Malaki ang impact noong 1976 because uh, at that time, uh, he was almost uh, unbeatable and of course uh, uh, that tournament was held here in Manila so very very memorable ako consider ko rin ang milestone kasi yung ano eh yung pagiging second ko kay uh, Bobby Fisher and the, the friendship the, uh, the friendship that I had with uh, Bobby uh, kinukonsider ko yun na ano eh very special he was my idol kasi eh Dahil sa mga narating ni Eugene Torre, maraming kabataan ang na-inspire. Kabilang si Wesley So, ang 27-year-old Filipino-born American Grandmaster. Wesley So is there already. He's already in the top 10, although he's representing uh, uh, America or uh, USA. Uh, everybody knows that uh, he's very much... Uh, a Filipino. Kailangan ituloy natin yung suporta uh, kay Wesley so na hopefully uh, maging challenger siya and maging world champion. So, 
yung victory ni Wesley So ay victory din natin. In the case naman ni Woman Grandmaster uh, 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 Trina, finally nagkaroon tayo ng first Woman Grandmaster with Janelle Trina. She's also very active in promoting chess. Marami na siyang na-achieve na ma-inspire yung mga kabataan nating babae na mag-chess and hopefully through her inspiration eh maka-discover din tayo ng mga pang-world champion. Nitong 2019, ginanap ang kauna-unahang Eugene Torre Cup sa kanyang alma mater, Mapua University. The reason na nagmapuwa ako because of chess din. Kasi yung mga brothers ko, uh, engineering eh. Dapat ano rin eh, engineering din ang ano, kinuha ko eh. Pero mahirap ang ano, engineering. Uh, parang mahirap mag-chess kung engineering. I don't know kung uh, one year or two years na champion kami. Malakas talaga kami noon uh, sa Mapua. And uh, kaya kami yung champion. Ang challenging din ha. Kasi ano eh, honor of the of the school or of the of the college uh, na you're representing ang at stake. Nadagdagan pa ang pride ng Mapua nang ma-induct si Eugene Torres sa World Chess Hall of Fame nitong April 20 lang. This is also first time for uh, Asia. So, I value this very much. At para sa mga kabataang gustong sumunod sa kanyang mga yapak, ito ang payo ng Grand Chess Master. Actually, ang ano naman eh, ang chess. Ang measure ng galing ng isang chess player o yung tatag niya is not in the winning. Ang measure ng galing ng isang chess player is in the losing. Yung natatalo siya, Gaano siya kabilis mag-recover, natatanggap ang pagkatalo at mabilis makarecover. Yun ang measure ng mga champions, mabilis makarecover. And we are down to the last item on our top 10 Mapua Sports Moment Countdown. So who got the top one spot? Excited na akong malaban? Here's Gabby Abot. And number one in our top 10 Mapua sports moments, it's a slam dunk for the Mapua Cardinals basketball team. Meron ng 29 basketball championships ang Mapua's juniors and seniors division, but the university also holds the distinction of producing alumni players who are considered the greats in Philippine basketball. Sila ang former Cardinals coach Atoy Ko and the legendary Alvin Patrimonio. Noon at hanggang ngayon, prominente talaga yung basketball program ng Mapua. Napakaraming greats na. Yun ang galing dyan from the NCAA going into the pros. And speaking of the greats, we got two of them joining us today here on the show. Unahin muna natin, one of the former Cardinals players and coaches and a top point guard in the hard court. Unahin natin si Coach Chito. Vic Tolero, Coach. Good afternoon. Maraming salamat sa pagsali sa amin dito. Hi, good afternoon, Martin. And also sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Mabuhay kayo. Yun. Thank you, Coach, sa pagsali sa atin dito. Pero yung mga kasama natin, napakalapit sa'yo. Kilalang kilala mo. Kumpletuhin natin ang ating lineup with another a former Cardinal player who has the bragging rights of won four major basketball leagues or titles in those basketball leagues as a head coach. Let's all welcome the equally legendary coach Joel Banal. Coach, good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, Martin, and uh, good afternoon to all the listeners. Uh, it's an honor to be here. Two legends tanggaling sa Mapua, Coach Joel, Coach Chito, pero nabanggit ko kanina, malapit kayo sa isa't isa dahil at one point, nagkasabay kayo. Nagko-coach si Coach Joel, siya yung head coach. Championship years, by the way, to ng Mapua. Player mo si Coach Chito. Anong, anong kwento dun, Coach? Ilang years mo ba hinawakan si Coach Chito? Si Coach Chito ang isa sa mga pillars nung ako yung coach sa Mapua. No? Uh, si Coach Chito ang isa sa mga inaasahan ko nun siya, yung number one point guard namin sa, sa Mapua nung panahon. So he, he was like a coach uh, on the floor during that time. So uh, I was not surprised when he started coaching. Because he was there when he was there. He was 
alam ko na naiintindihan niya yung game. Very cerebral siya na as a player. And I'm not surprised also that he's very successful in the PBA because this is a coach who works so hard no, from when he was a player. From your perspective naman, Coach Chito, anong time mo nung nakawakan ka niya? Anong klaseng coach siya? Um, si Coach Joel, bukod doon sa ano, eh, XNO, he was ready uh, uh, every time for practice, every time sa game, talagang nakaplano yan eh. Yung motivation niya sa amin, uh, yung kanyang uh, spiritual na talagang paniniwala niya sa Panginoon, yun yung nadadala niya sa amin before eh. Um, lahat ng battle namin noon, lahat ng war namin noon, na uh, talagang hindi kami umuurong eh, uh, palaban lahat. Talagang siya yung naging mentor ko doon. Hindi naman talaga ako ano, eh, varsity player ng ano eh. Actually, sa galing lang akong intrams eh. So, nakilang niya ako, nag-MVP lang ako doon sa intrams sa Mapua. That's why, nagkawin ako ng chance sa uh, Cardinals. Noon, nung nagre-recruit kayo, ano yung tinitignan nyo sa isang player? Sige, uh, uh, ikaw muna, Coach Chito. Nung, nung panahon ko, so hindi naman talaga gan kaki din yung budget for the recruitment eh. So, we try to develop players. We need to develop players. Kuha kami ng mga players sa province. Kuha kami ng mga players doon sa other league. And then, kung sino yung mga mag-mythical five, mag-MVP doon, yun yung tinatarget namin. Halos na siyempre, pag tinignan mo, skills muna eh. But of course, after that, tinignan mo din yung kanyang attitude. Ano ba yung uh, palaban ba itong bata? Ano ba yung attitude nito sa laro? So, yun yung madalas na pangalawa o pangatlo namin tinitingnan. But of course, siyempre, kahirap kasi mag-coach ng college compare sa ano sa sa pro. Kasi talaga, halos buong araw ko na nasa Mapuwa eh. Hindi lang talaga yung game plan mo ang iisipin mo dun eh. Pati yung grades ng mga bata, pati yung uh, kakainin nila, yung pamasahe nila pa uwi. Parang tatay ka. Yes, tama. Ganyan din ginawa sa amin ni Coach Joel. Even our allowances, uh, pinoproblema niya. Dudugtungan ko yung sinabi ni Coach Chip. So, uh, sa Mapuwa kasi parating ang problema, uh, hindi kami makarecruit eh. Number one, hindi masyadong malaki yung budget compared to other schools, di ba? Pangalawa, it's a technical school. Eh, maraming player, pag sinabi pala engineering, takot na eh. Ayaw na mag-try out sa amin, i recruit mo, ayaw magpunta. Kasi totoo naman, we're very, very strict uh, with, with our scholastics, no? Kanya actually, tumitingin kami sa intramurals. Kanya sinasabi ni Coach Chito, galing MVP siya sa intramurals, kami nang bahala kung anong gagawin namin sa materials. Parang, do what you can do with what you have, no? Yes, hard work, dedication, and sacrifice will win you a championship eventually. But talent will help you win tomorrow. Kaya yung sinasabi ko, uh, hindi madaling mag-coach sa Mapua. Kailangan mo pagjagaan. Sometimes nga, sinasabi niya para kami tatay. But, ang nasukli, no? I coach in the PBA and won a championship. Coach Chito coach in the PBA and won a championship dahil doon sa sacrifice ibinigay namin sa uh, alma mater namin sa Mapua. Tumingin kami, we gave what we can to our school, and we, we got the blessings in return. Wow, that's true. At napakaganda po ng mga kwentong naririnig natin. Again, coaches, maraming salamat po sa pagsali sa amin dito and for generously sharing your stories uh, with us. I'm sure yung mga NCAA audience po natin at audience natin dito sa GTV nag-enjoy talaga. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. It is an honor to be among the basketball greats, but the current roster of the Mapua Cardinals are lucky to be standing on the shoulders of legends. And that wraps up our top 10 Mapua sports moments. Salamat din po kay Gab Yabut na kasama ngayon ni Sofia. Yes, thank you, Gab, so much for joining us today. Yes, it's my pleasure. At sa schoolmates ko sa Mapua, good luck sa NCAA Season 96. Thank you all for watching. I'm Sophia Senioran with Martin Javier. See you all tomorrow here in Rise Up Stronger, the road to NCAA Season 96.
Season, Uncle Sumo, the number one reason.